Hi, we're going to be discussing today how to use compensation in order to solve a subtraction equation. Um, first, we'll start with two-digit subtraction and compensation, and then we'll talk about three-digit equations using compensation. Um, a lot of people want to use this strategy very frequently whenever um, solving problems. Something that you really need to pay attention to is compensation only works when there's regrouping. So if it's a regrouping equation, then you can choose compensation. Otherwise, it makes things more difficult. Um, so just to begin with, 32 minus 17 is the first problem we're going to start with. Um, notice that this is a regrouping equation because you have to take away 7 from the 1's place, but there are only 2 in the 1's place. Um, and so using compensation, we're going to add 3 on both sides. The reason that we're going to be adding 3 is because 3 partners up with 7. They're compatible numbers. And so that would get it to the next 10. And it's easier to subtract 20 than it is to subtract 17. We can um, be using mental math when it comes to the next phase of, of how to use this compensation. So we've got 35 minus 20, and that's something that you can do in your head. So essentially, you're just keeping the ones the same, and you're subtracting 3 tens minus 2 tens, which will be 15. So the difference between 32 and 17 is 15. So compensation gets really quick. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple more equations just so you get the hang of it. All right, so 41 minus 15, we can use compensation because there's regrouping. Um, we are adding to this number. I wouldn't want to add 9 because that's not going to make this more simple. Like 50 minus whatever that you would add 9 to that, be, it wouldn't make it easier. We're going to add it to the second number, um, and we want to do whatever partners up with it. So 5 partners with 5 to get to the next 10. So we're going to turn this into 20, and we've got 46. We're bringing down our subtraction sign, so 46 minus 20 is our new equation. So sometimes you might be asked, what's an easier equation that you could use to solve um, 41 minus 15? This would be what the answer is in order to solve, and, and that would be giving you the same difference. So 46 minus 20, again, we are only taking away 2 from this tens place. There aren't any 1s. So the 1s stay the same. 4 minus the 2 tens is 2. So the difference is 26. So kind of how this, I'll actually I'll do one more before I start with the hundreds. Um, here we go. How about 53 minus 29? Um, again, so we're going to look at this second number, the one that's being subtracted, 29. Nine partners up with one to get to the next 10, so we're adding that on both sides. And so subtraction with the compensation is a little bit different than if you were doing addition with compensation. And if you want to know how to do addition with compensation, you can look back. I have another video on how to do that. Um, so 29, we're going to turn that into 30. 53 plus one more is 54. 54 minus 30, 5 tens minus 3 tens is 2 in the tens, so the difference is 24. Um, when it comes to using compensation to solve equations that have more than two digits, so three digit um, numbers with compensation, um, it gets a little bit trickier because you could have regrouping from the ones place and regrouping from the tens place. So we'll start with just some regrouping that only takes care of um, if it's only in the ones place. And then I have another example that we'll do um, where you have regrouping in the tens and in the ones place. All right, so 532 minus 215. So notice ahead of time that you've got two in the ones place and you have to take away five. So you're not going to be able to do that. If I look ahead to what the steps coming up would be, three, is, three tenths is larger than the one ten that we have. So there's not going to be a, a two-digit regrouping for this. Um, I'm sorry, two areas where you have to do regrouping. So I'm going to add five because that partners up with um, 5 to get to the next 10, so I'm going to add 5 on both sides. So 215 turns into 200, I'm sorry, 220, and then we've got 537 over here. So 537 minus the 220, 
7 minus the 0, we've got 7. 3 tens minus 2 tens is 1. And 5 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 3 hundreds. So the difference is 317. So this one didn't have any regrouping with the second one, um, the second number in the tens place. So that one is a little bit easier. It kind of mirrors the same way that we did with the two digits. Um, here's another one. Let's see. I've got all kinds of little papers around me. Um, 356 minus 128. So kind of check out what you've got going on. Is compensation the best way to solve this? Um, it could be. Let's see. We've got... 6 over here and an 8 over here. So we are going to have to do a regrouping. 5 and 2, okay, we don't have to do it with that. So I only need to worry about adding to the ones place. So I'm going to add 2 to the ones place because 2 partners with 8 to get to the next 10. They're compatible numbers. Um, this gives me 130. And then we've got... 358 over here. So the next equation, the new equation, 358 minus 130. So 8 minus the 0 is 8. 5 tens minus 3 tens is 2 tens. And 3 hundreds minus the 100 is 2. So the difference here is 228. Um, I'm going to kind of go back to an, one of the original equations that I have, and I'm going to just change one of the digits so that it turns into having to um, be an equation where you've got a couple of things going on. So 532 minus 275. So previously we had said 532 minus 215. So how we're going to look at this is a little bit different. Um, 75 is much greater than 32. So if I'm not even looking at these hundreds, I notice that 32 is way less than that. So I would have to borrow from my hundreds place in order to solve that equation. Um, for this, I'm also looking for compatible numbers. Um, but instead of trying to just figure out what's the compatible number for the 5, I need to figure out what do I need to add to 75 to get to the next 100. Um, and 75 needs 25 in order to get to the next 100. So I'm going to be adding 25 to the 532, and I'm going to be adding 25 to the 275. This is going to give me an even 300, which is way easier to subtract, especially if I'm trying to do this in my head. A lot of what you can do with compensation, um, it'll lead to you being able to do really, really hard equations mentally in your head. So... That's kind of what the end goal would be here. So here's our new um, equation, 557 minus 300. So again, the 57 is not going to do anything. We're going to keep the 57. 5 in the hundreds minus 3 is 2. So the difference here must be 257. Um, and you should be getting to the place where you'll start being able to do all of this in your head. Um, for us, I do want you showing all of your work, um, but I know that you'll be able to get there really, really quickly because you guys have been working super hard. So this is how to do compensation for subtraction. Remember, it's totally different than when you're using compensation for addition. Um, you can use compensation when there's regrouping, and it makes the problems a little bit easier to solve.